guys, it's me Christy and I'm here with my monthly themes for 2017. Last year I did a 16 books I wanted to read in 2016 and I only got to one. So this year I'm planning to be a bit more strict with myself but at the same time, um, what's the word? Casual? Like, I want to have a theme per month so I know in which direction I want to read. But at the same time, I'm not going to say I can only read these books. Even if I just get to one in that month, that's a, that's a big deal because I'm getting stuff off my TBR. This is just my personal um, goals. You don't have to follow me. You don't have to um, like think it's a big deal or anything like that. It's just, this is tailored for me because I noticed that when it comes to um, readathons or reading challenges, I'm much better off doing what I want to do rather than being rather than forcing myself to follow a certain TBR. Um, that's also one of the reasons why I don't make TBRs a lot because suddenly I feel confined to reading just these books, and if one of them doesn't kind of end the way I'd expect, or um, if things in my personal life kind of um, start getting hectic, I start losing the will to read or the will to read that book. So that's just how it goes for me. Um, so yeah, that's just a little disclaimer. Like I want to try reading more diversely, but at the same time, I just want to get the books that I have of my sh the, the books that I have now off my shelf just so that I can, you know, clear it out. So I'm sorry if none of, I'm just actually showing one book per theme, which is why they're all stacked here. Um, these aren't all the books that I'm gonna be reading, but these are ideas of what I would like to read. And um, yeah, so that's it. So for January, I am going to go with Just Start January. And that is consistent um, that is that consists of reading books, the first books in the series, such as *The Invisible Library* by Genevieve Cogman. This is the first book in a series of three. I don't even know what the series is called. I just know that this is book one. And then um, for February, I'm doing *Fantasy February*. Which will consist of me reading fantasy books, such as um, *Truth Witch* by Susan Dennard. I got this last year, and I still haven't read it, so that's saying something. So hopefully this year in February I can get to it. And then for March, I'm going with *Mystery March*. It mostly consists of reading mystery books like Sherlock Holmes um, and I have a Agatha Christie that I borrowed from one of my friends so I'm gonna try reading that most I'm just dedicating it to mystery books and then in April I'm planning to read books by Jane Austen which is why I'm calling it Austin April So this is one of the, I have Pride and Prejudice, but I also have Austin Land, which is about um, a woman who loves Jane Austen so much that she goes to this sort of role-playing hotel and they get their, their characters and at the end they find true love, which is part of the um, thing. If you haven't watched the movie, you should watch the movie. And then after that, we have Magic May. Not Mike, May. That consists of reading magical realism. Therefore, I have The Labyrinth by Jorge Luis Bor Borges. I really don't know how to pronounce this because sometimes there are some letters that, that, that you don't pronounce. And yeah, anyways, so June is for J. And that would consist of reading authors who start with the letter J, such as Jean Plady. I have so many Jean Pladies now that I'm, I really cannot wait to get to June. And like, I thought Philippa Gregory was like the one for me. I thought she was 
the only historical fiction writer that I'm ever gonna love who's not corny, you know? And then I found Jean Plady. Like, you know, Philippa Gregory is gonna be, is always going to be Bay, but Jean Plady is like my side chick. So, yeah. <laughs> and then in July, I'm gonna, I called it just read it already, July. Which is based off of books you just just read it already like you've had it on your shelf for years or you just bought it and then you're waiting and you shouldn't wait just read it so just read it already so one of the ones i just want to read already is three sisters three queens i got this last year in september during the manila international book fair i've sort of been like saving myself like you know, I've read most of her books already and then I'm like, I want to, but at the same time, like, I don't want to because then it feels like the magic gonna end, you know? And then, um, for, turn the page, for August, I'm going to have modern classic authors for August. And that consists of Vonnegut, Golding, um, Joseph Heller, and Tolkien. And I have a lot of freaking Tolkien, okay? I have this one, Tales of the Perilous Realms. I have Unfinished Tales. I have um, The Lays of Belyoran. I have Children of Hurin. I have so many. And before BookTube, I actually would dedicate a month per book to Tolkien. Like, I read in one month, I fin not that it took me one month, but just to give myself time. Um, the Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, and... Um, two towers like one one of those a month it was really nice but at the same time i remember just kind of being like why does every race of middle earth like have to sing why does why what is up with these spontaneous random bursts of poetry like i mean i get it they're nice poems but at the same time why like especially like the elves oh my gosh like I remember this one time I was reading and then Legolas got inspired by like the place they were and he just started like making a poem out of the leaves or was it grass? Well, I know it was forest themed, okay? But um yeah, like everybody except the orcs. Did you notice like everyone sings slash has random bursts of spontaneous poetry but not the orcs. And then they were former elves. I believe that's what their lore is, so... Hmm. Just when you turn into an orc, you lose your poetry skills. Um, for September, I'm having Scary September. Because, not really, um... Normally people will be like, oh, in October, I want to read this scary thing, blah, 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 you know, because Halloween. But for me, the hype is really in September. That's when I feel the most Halloween-ish. I know it's weird, but um, that's where the hype is for me. So I'm planning to read like ha my Hannibals, I have all four, and American Psycho, finally, because he's a real monster. So yeah. And then on October, I'm dedicating this month to Own Voices October, which is started by Katie from Katie Loves to Read and Mel from Books with Wings, and I will leave their channel links down below. And it's about reading authors from a certain minority who write books about people in their certain in their minority. And I think that's really important. And it just shows like a love of your own, you know, your own culture. And I think that's awesome. So for Own Voices October, I really, really want to get to Monstrous by Lysley Tenorio. It's just so nice. And I didn't cover some plastic yet, but it's white, so yeah, okay. And then for November, of course, we have Nonfiction November. I've got The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls that I really want to read. Like, I love memoirs. I love reading about another person's life. I enjoy, you know, um, learning from what they've been through. But at the same time, I haven't had the time to dedicate to doing that, even though I really should. And also books, um, auto, I mean biographies, like I have here King David, The Real Life of the Man Who Ruled Israel, which is a um, more than just the book, uh, I think it's Samuel in the Bible, 
first a set first or second Samuel and it chronicles the life of King David and that's a very like spiritual um, chronicling and stuff but this also has um, the political side of King David, which is what really, really interests me because this was a time when Israel wanted a king and um, you got Saul, but he wasn't really that good. And then you have David who was like the up and coming one and you know, all that. So that really, really interests me because this guy had like one hell of a life, you know? So yes. And lastly for December, it's read whatever you want. And hopefully I can get to the Gollum and the Jinne, which is like really, really interesting to me. And I've had it for a year now and I really, really just want to get to it. Because I'm not going to put a theme on December, even though people are always like, oh, Christmas theme books. Yeah. Hmm. It's just not going to work for me if I have something to really stick to sometimes because you never know what happens in December because there's usually family gatherings, Christmas parties, weddings, weddings, or yeah, I don't know, more weddings. Everybody loves getting married in December. And then you have the new year and it's just like, it's very hectic. So some people can manage to read a lot during December, but I can't. Okay, if it's hectic. I start to feel stressed and then I can't get into the chill vibes I need to get into sometimes. So that's just me. So yeah, that's it. These are some of the um, examples of what I would like to get to in 2017. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking around. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, Happy New Year.